In this video, we will continue with general angles. You will find this on page 172 in the Namibia AS level, Mathematics Textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Now, let's look at the negative direction. Draw each of the following angles on the Cartesian plane, indicate clearly the direction of rotation and find the basic angle. Okay, so basically, I'm just going to look, but now I go in the negative. So if this is negative, it's going past negative 180 and that little bit of 30. But I write it as negative 180 plus that 30, but that um, angle towards the x-axis, theta is going to be 30 degrees. If it's this one, it's a little bit over, can you see? So it's going to be one revolution and that little 10. So we write it as 360 plus 10, so beta is 10. And then this one, it's going to be, it's um, this now in terms of radians, so it's going to make now, if I, if I, you can first subtract just two, but just leave the negative out. It's just in the negative, I go around like this. So, so it's one and two thirds. So remember, one will be, a, okay, so it's going to make the full revolution. And then, it's still going to make, I still, still that one, do you see two thirds? So it's two pi minus a third. So it's, it's just that little bit, I want to make it a bit bigger that you can see better. Okay. So did you see how I write it? And I'm going to just show you. Okay. Let's just go on this. This is the first revolution. And then I go still around until pi. But then I still go that, uh, that's one and, and then I still go that little bit. Okay, and that's the sketch. And, and the angle towards this axis will be one third. That is beta. So this is indicating beta towards the x axis. Okay, I want you to stop the video and I want you to do, uh, I think I'm going to give you all again. Okay. So it's number A, B, and C. I'm going to make it just a bit smaller that I have more space to write. Okay. So again, number A, B, and C. And again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's just make our axes. There's one, there's B, there's C. So this is B, this is A, this is B, and this is C. Okay, now again you can do your calculations, it's not, and but just write it correctly. So if I'm saying, saying 2, 3, 5, so it's actually that 2, 3, 5. Now, think for yourself, if I say it's, it's going to be past 180, so if I subtract 180, just leave out the signs first, and you see 2, 3, 5, minus 180, you see it's the 55. Okay, but let's just write it now, because remember it's going this way. So it's going to go this negative 180, and then it's going to end there. And if I must draw the line, and that will be my point B. Okay. And th this is my angle. This is my angle, 55. But how do I write it? Let's write it correct. So it's negative 2, 3, 5. Put the negative. It's a, this is indicating the direction. So it's 180 plus the 55. So therefore, beta is 55 degrees. And that's how you do it. Okay. The next one. Now, the next one is quite large, so it's negative 690. But again, if I, if I just want to see, I just want to see how much is over one revolution. So I go 690, and I subtract 360. And if I say 690 minus 360, I get 330. Okay. But then that one must again break up. Okay. And 330 is actually 360 minus 30 because it's ending there or in this one in this case. So let's just, let's first make the sketch. So the sketch will be that I will go around like this. 
But then I will go again. Do you see? There it will be 270 and it will end, say, for example, there. So if I must make a line, sorry, I want to use my, oh, and I didn't leave it like my sketch. Can I just, um, I just want to make the sketch a little bit better. I don't want it to cross. Yes, this is better. Okay. And then I draw my line. And this is my P. Okay. And this is now beta, which is 30 degrees. But let's look how I write it. I write negative 690. And that will be negative 360 plus the 330. Okay. And that, if I move it a little bit, that will be then 360 plus 360 minus the 30. So I'm breaking this one up. And that... Therefore, okay, let's just go in by saying, therefore, beta is equal to 30 degrees. And that's how. Okay, and then the final one in terms of radiance. Okay, and now this one, I will again, if I want to really see, I can just say, oh, it's negative 5 over 6. So it's not 1, it's less than 1. So I can actually say, okay, if I take by. I subtract 5 over 6 by, I get that 1 over 6. Okay, but remember you're going this way around. So if you, if you start, that would have been negative. But then you will just go, uh, it's a little bit short. Do you see? Because it's not, it's not, if it was 7 over 6, it will be a little bit over. But now it's a little bit short. So I will just go... Make my line. This is my beta. It's 1 over 6 pi. Okay. And this is my point P. Okay. But how do I write it? So I say negative 5 over 6 pi. Put the negative because it's in the negative direction. I could have put arrows there. That maybe it would have helped you. Okay. So it's negative, And then it's negative pi minus... 5 over 6, to, to get that 5 over 6, okay, and therefore, beta is equal to pi over 6, and that is my final answer.